all right so with block dun, dun, dun. too much other languages with right and this is basically used for when we have the nested case statements or switch statements or whatever uh, nested nested case statements and it has a lot of use cases in when you are calling some api right and you know calling another api which is dependent on the previous one like in the microservice architecture like you're fetching from one service then you know writing to another service right so you can uh, what you generally do is like if we have three calls right one is um let's say db select right and the second can be uh, validation of regex and this let's say a network call and we are calling some api or internal api or some external api to validate the regex right or oh, whatever it's just an example network call and the third can be the db write something right so what you generally do is you will first call the i'm always forgetting how to write comments in elixir too much just go and cpp <laughs> right so nested case how will you write this you will write like this so we have the case here right so you have some api which you run like tuple of okay or whatever then you will write something like uh, case uh, some res of the api right and then you will do like uh, you will pet match it right so it returns tuple of okay then uh, we have the data right since it's a select query then you do something like uh, you, you know uh, another uh, thing which is uh, validate the network call uh, validate the regex from the network call so now here you will write the validate network call code right and then inside that you will uh, again write case statement to pattern match the result of that validation right case tuple of okay or whatever network call fail or what what happened to it right so it will result in the nested case statements so to avoid this we have with and we can write this by using this test with and and of course in since we don't have any arguments then we can skip this parenthesis part because elixir anyway but it doesn't recognize you know it tries to invoke it right so with let's create a user object user map and this will my first name can be user first name and the last name can be last right so we have the user object now we want to pattern match multiple things so i'm i'm keeping it as simple as possible because if i try to write the code for this right so then uh, asynchronous otp and all those network calls tp calls will be into the picture and i don't want to confuse you guys since it's a beginner friendly course uh, we will do this in some other course when we when we explore the concurrency part in the next course uh, which will be purely based on elixir otp and concurrency stuff cool stuff so since this beginner friendly so i'm assuming that nobody knows about these kind of stuff right now and now i'm just taking the simple examples mostly they are from the blocks only right i don't want to complicate things in this course <laughs> i have a lot of course which uh, we build a project from scratch like real time apis all that good stuff and we complicate things there because i presume that <laughs> you know you know elixir but uh, let's skip that in this course so with and what we basically uh, do here is we want to start pet matching so i'm gonna just skip this to there right and now we want to pet match multiple things which means 
so we can use the map dot fetch function right and uh, we want to pass in the map and we want to fetch the key which is first right and uh, if the map finds the key with the value then it returns triple of okay and the value or a first right so now we have some another call let's say assume that this is the db select query right so now we are pattern matching this i'm saying okay this should be okay right and the next we are writing another thing which is basically a map dot fetch user and we want to fetch the last the value and this assume that this is a network call right and we are pattern matching the result which is basically a triple of okay so the network call failed or not so uh, we want we want to do something when all of this pass right all of this this passed triple of okay this pass triple of okay right and then we want to do something we want to do something what we can return something let's say we can return the full name right so full name can be first and the string can be concatenation or whatever first last and this will return the full name and we can space it with this and this right and this will be full name and we can simply return this full name okay. and something is not right here because we need to give it a comma right oops yeah i think that's it we have with block oh sorry full name and what are we missing here there's some error here do there's no end here and what's your problem mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. incomplete unexpected reach and the line i don't think there's not there should not be any end here yeah there isn't mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. full name with and we map the map dot fetch first with this and then comma and the second with this the key and when both of these match right we'll get to the error in a second uh, just debug me when both of this match right so the db select query match successfully then then and only then this will run right so it's very important to understand this it's very complicated stuff but it looks easy network call then only we will call the network and then we are matching that okay network call pass and then we can do something like a return or insert into the db or whatever right so this is very clean rather than nested if else statement like if this pass then do something else nested right you understand what i'm saying otherwise in elixir way if we are not using with then we will have to use case like okay we call the network then we pattern match the network then if it's pattern match correctly then we open that block and then we will write that again the case statement for the next call which is the whatever call or whatever validation we are doing anyway enough talk um this is crashing and it's breaking my heart to the core ta 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 huh god damn it it's just an indentation thing <laughs> yeah like i said there was no end so we can say successful concurrent calls can insert into the db now right and you can do anything you want here because you know that both of your things passed like this resulted true and this resulted true then you can do a successful operation or whatever you want to do and this if it return false then it will not 
do this call right so that's what i'm trying to tell you so you, you are we are returning the full name and okay so we cannot we can return this only the full name base class right and just recompile it oh come on uh first last i'm not sure why it's ring out okay, last does not exist okay okay this is not second this is last we compile test with first name last name which is basically a name let's say code dexterity code dexterity so now to convert this into the case statement to make you help understand this better so test without with to right and now we will we can just copy this right the map let's say it, it came from chung json or whatever so this is a map and now we want to do this with case so case case what let's say first call map dot fetch treated as network call or db call and pass in the map and the key which is first and the second call will write second call in a bit let's say if it's uh you can write the second call here and pass the last but but if the first call is needed for the second call to you are understanding what i'm saying right <laughs> so case first call now we are pattern matching okay map returns triple of okay and the key or oh, sorry the value which is let's say first call value right and now what do you want to do we want to let's say print it first call value and then what we want to do we want to Mm, map dot fetch user and the last key last and this is the second call now what you want to do we want to write the case again right the case second call now if you want to again nest it same thing okay second and you do you want to do something right now now you can return the full name okay so now we can also use interpolation here because the error was because of there was no last keyword last and we can say the first last right huh. and there are no curly braces for this sorry 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 just do not even do i guess this will just work just fine yeah and why it's not working as expected okay triple of okay do and okay first call value then the first does not exist god damn it because it's first call value well, let's say first right working as expected let's say recompile clear please um test without with go so, dexterity full name again so the point was that you are writing nested case statements as you can see fetching something 
pattern matching it if it returns okay like pattern match correctly it was true uh second call and inside that case second case it can go up to n right with with you are just saying okay this worked fine then tell me how it works and this worked fine okay then do something finally you are doing this no nesting so that was the whole purpose of test with and test without with i hope you understood this um and of course uh we can also discuss the edge cases mm, if nothing match then of course there there will be error and i think that's it uh and also the elixir's new version 1.3 uh supports else inside the width right let's say nothing matched so since we are on the width right this i tested for you to witness that how nested things work um with 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 this matched this matched okay now what we can do we did something like do this right now nothing matched then we have else inside with and we can bat and match like this error io dot puts error if not then if there's something we don't know we don't know what happened right and of course this will be we are returning something right hmm. we need to end the block else unable to format do, 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 do. we have error do something else with block oh and one more thing since we are uh, separating uh, all the calls with commas yeah so if you if this is confusing you you can look it like this so what we are doing here is we are just it's an inline call match this okay match this okay then do this like so this will help you understand this better and there's the there's also the else thing that uh okay when uh, nothing matched like with fail to match this then we have the else block inside with of course and this will match this and uh, since we are writing the else then we need to pass it into this and we need to remove this since it's not the in line do we also have else now right so we can say We remove all this and this is the this is not the inline do now it's do n right so this will pattern match this and this and return this now we want to include else so okay nothing matched then do something do what uh okay nothing matched so now we can paste our else here what was that right copied it whatever else and then i got puts we don't know what that. right so we compile code dexterity sorry test with so it works so it, if it doesn't work then we don't know what happened you you can fail one of the statement and then you can check that's it we can try we don't know what happened because map dot fetch returns triple of okay not okay right i think that's it we coded a lot in this section with block as always tricky as fuck <laughs> well see you in the next one